people that I have been talking to, some of my neighbors, they really feel as though this is it. We've lost it. Yeah. Uh, the nation is too far gone. And there was kind of this melancholy in some degree of this is this is not coming back. This is it. Yeah, I've heard that sentiment expressed quite a bit. And it's sad. Yeah. So I don't want to accept that. I really sad. You know, I'm, tr- I'm trying to remain positive, but it's hard. It's hard with this kind of insanity going on every day. I mean, we've talked about five or six things just this morning that, you know, a month ago you couldn't, you, you couldn't imagine. And look how often that happens no. now. Stuff that you just couldn't no. believe would happen happens every day, multiple times a day. Now. I was talking... I was talking to a friend of mine, he's an architect, and uh, he works at a big architectural firm. And um, he said, uh, you know, they had this global conference call a couple of weeks ago. And they were all called in and uh, they said, uh, uh, you know, these CEOs who God only knows how much money they're making, um, they bring in some guy to give them a talk. And he said, uh, the first thing out of this guy's mouth is um, if you can't agree that everything you know and have been taught about America is a lie, that's your white privilege. And we can't move forward until you get past that. And he was like, he just, he said, he just looked around and everybody was just standing there (laughs) and nobody said anything. And he's like, everything that we've been taught is a lie? 